Hello there YouTube. I hope you guys are ready for me to massacre some cichlid names. Uh, I was at the uh, Capital Cichlid Association meeting up in uh, Frederick, Maryland, I guess you could call it, uh, on May 12th, the May meeting, and I was able to pick up quite a few uh, cichlids for for the 29-gallon uh, tank that I will that I plan on taking back with me up to school. Uh, some of the new additions are this blue zebra. This guy's huge. Uh, another one is this F1 Pundamilia Pundamilia. I'm not sure if that's the specific species or I, I mean I know what the F1 is. It's a like the first generation of a, a breeding line. So that's pretty cool to see. And uh not sure if the Punamilia Punamilia though is the uh the specific species. I couldn't find much information on them. These guys are freaking out. Alright. Uh, I also got some um sorry, you can't multitask. Got some uh, identifications for some of the guys that didn't know what they were before. All right, I just put some food in the tank. Um, I've been using some uh, Hikari cichlid food, as well as uh, Omega One spirulina rounds, and uh, I'm I actually just ordered some um, some foods off of Ken'sFish.com. Uh, hopefully, try out some of his brands. He's the one who uh, has uh, the Ken's Golden Pearls, which is what I used to feed the Scarlet Baddies. So, so I thought I'd try out some of the, of the other foods. Anyway, um, I have some IDs for you. Uh, where'd they go? Alright. Oh, he just disappeared. Okay. Uh, this guy, I believe, is a Rusty, or some hybrid of, of Zebra and, and Rusty. Guy in the back there. Definitely has the coloration and body shape of it. Uh, that guy right there, I believe, is a Melochromis Joan Johansi. Can't, can't get him out in the open. There's a yellow lab in the back. Uh, where'd he go? This is, they make this very difficult. <clears throat> and then, um, I also have a Melanochromis fin. Venistus, I believe that's a remotely close pronunciation. It's the guy who's got the patterns of the Johanni, but is uh, dark brown with the kind of yellow. That guy in the back. There's the uh, Joan Johanse. I'm definitely not pronouncing those correctly, but uh, yeah. I also rearranged the tank work when I, or the rock work when I added the uh, the new guys. And it was kind of interesting to watch how the, I guess the hierarchy changed in the tank. You could see colors fade in and out. Everyone was trying to find their new territory, and it's quite interesting to watch. It's definitely a cool experience. Here's the Telmato Chromus Dante in his 10-gallon grot tank for now. See him right there hanging out under the columns. Hope you recognize the columns. They're from when I first set up my 10-gallon tank. And actually, this 10-gallon is. One my dad used back when I was little. Yeah, it was my first introduction into fish keeping, I guess you could say. Anyway, uh, this guy's pretty sweet looking. <clears throat> He's, um, I've, I've looked at pictures of the adults. They've got that kind of pale white color to them with the, a lot of yellow on them too, especially around the eyes, uh, around on the gill slits, and sometimes even up by the uh, dorsal fin. So that's really cool to see. I'm excited to watch him grow up. These guys are known for being, um, how should I put it, probably some of the most aggressive, if not the most vicious, uh, African cichlids. Um, also known to being as being one of the most aggressive freshwater fish uh, in general. So gonna watch that. Uh, I have a feeling this guy is gonna be become the king of the tank so to speak once I introduce him to the uh, the main population once once he uh, grows up. 
Uh, and if I have to, I'll pull them out and separate them again. I'll, I'll find something to do with them, but uh, I'm hoping I won't come to that. On a little side note, my dad and I have discovered that ceramic mugs um, make for nice caves for cichlids. A lot of people use things like PVC or, or um, flower pots, but this is another uh, alternative, and it works quite well. They're strong. And uh, it just gives you a different look. Um, so, yeah, something that you might want to try if you get the chance. Anyway, once again, <coughs> this is the Tomato. Oh, geez, I don't even know. Hold on. I have it written down. Uh, it's Tomato Chromis Dante. So, that's him. Looking forward to uh, watching him grow up. And, uh, thanks.